this one is my topic, the monitoring effect of commitment on the link between, wow, that's pretty long subtitle, but the event quality and revision intention and comparison of college men's and women's basketball event. So, uh, the one of the biggest, uh, one of the main reason of this research meeting is help the graduate student to find their research subject and also how to deal with their thesis. And this is my uh, thesis subject when I was in Florida. So I realized that I used lots of gator pictures, so I changed it. Anyway, uh, so do you understand what I want to do? Simplify service quality and revision intention and how modeling uh, commitment influence that relationship and also men's and women's basketball. More complicated? Okay, I can, I'm gonna explain that. And also I, I'll explain how I pick this subject. Okay, so college sports <coughs> is very important in US. Have you watched the uh, last football game, USC? One of the best game in my life. And Dr. Sheen and Dr. Dr. Ree and I went to a game. <coughs> it's crowded and all the crazy guys like you were there. Anyway, everyone knows that this college sports is very important. Not just male, but also female, young, and old people, crazy. We are crazy, right? And everyone agree that this is very important. Then, somehow, only men's basketball and football made a profit. The other program cannot make a profit. Even pretty popular University of Connecticut or Tennessee basket, women's basketball team cannot make a profit. And do you know how many college athletic program made a profit? 23. 23, thank you. Yes, around 20 college university can make a profit. Like uh, Michigan, Florida, Texas, Texas A&M, right? What about the WSU? More than 10 million deficits, right? Then, how can we figure it out? What is the most biggest revenue source in college sports? Donation and ticket sales, right? And we cannot control this donation, but somehow we can do something in ticket sales, right? And let's, we lose lots of money, especially women's sports. Then, how can we figure it out? Any solution? And pre-research uh, pre research found out the solution in service quality, like a better entertainment or clean facility, kind uh, staff, or very good concession. So, we can apply this service, better service quality concept in college sports. And pre research identified that high quality of service significantly influenced customer satisfaction. And that satisfied customer more likely to attend the game. Everyone knows that, right? Then, is that true? Yes and no. When I was in Florida, you know, I'm a huge baseball fan. And I enjoy to visit the Tropicana Field, Tampa Bay Rays game. And of course, I go with my wife and my daughter. And I, that the Tropicana Field is kind of very old, but dorm stadium. So in Florida, very humid, hot, lots of rain, thunder, 
right? But it's dorm. We don't care, right? And so I really satisfied. I don't care. The others, if they allow me to watch the baseball, I really don't care. But my wife and daughter, what they said, it's kind of old, dirty, and the woman's restroom always packed. And beer is not that fresh. Beer is very important to my wife anyway. And not many things to do for the kids. So they are not very satisfied. And they said it's not worth to spend their uh, three hours distance. So back and forth is six hours. They provide the same quality of this service, but depending on the person, their service perception is different, right? So, merely providing high quality service to customer is not sufficient to attract customer to service <coughs> event. I started in this point. Okay, let's find out which service factor is important. And what about the uh, high committed fan and general fan, depending on their loyalty? We went there. We means Dr. Rian, and Dr. Shin and me. And <laughs> as I remember, Dr. Rian and me even didn't move at our seat. We just stay there. Even that's cold and crowded, we just stay there and keep yelling. What if I brought my wife and daughter they probably complain about the weather or concession and pack crowdedness, right? So I'm a, I'm a high loyal fan of the WSU football, so I don't care. But what about my wife? And even men's and women's sports. That's how I decide or pick this research subject. Service and spectating sports, loyalty. So this is uh, the uh, purpose of the research, relationship between perception of each event quality factor and revision intention, and also commitment and men's and women's basketball event. And research question is, are there any difference between men's and women's event and different between highly committed fan and general spectator? Okay, so what is service quality? Service quality defined as customers' overall impression of the relative inferiority and superiority of organization and its service. And there is a very different kind of service exists. So many research identify the uh, service quality factors, but I cannot cover everything, and based on panel of experts and pilot study, I decide, I pick these four factors. Skill performance, game performance, core product, and in-game entertainment, and staff quality, and facility. And uh, we need to talk about the commitment. What is commitment? An enduring, enduring desire to maintain a valued relationship. This is commitment. So we, if you are not familiar with commitment, we can think like a loyalty. And pre-research found that if someone has commitment, customer loyalty, and service recovery expectation, and retention, and word of mouth activity. If they are loyal, and not teams or brand or athletes. They keep consume their product and also even they disappoint it, the recovery is kind of very easy and also retention and they keep talk about their product or teams or athletes. That is commitment. Maintain the value relationship. And to understand your to help you understand about this research, I introduce my research model. This is first hypothesis, direct effect of these four factors, game performance, in-game entertainment, 
step quality and physical surrounding, how they influence in representation intention, and also how this commitment influence this relationship in men's and women's basketball. So far, any question? No? Pretty clear, right? And method. Uh, this is not the uh, statistic or research method class, so I will move very fast. And if you have any question or <coughs> need to learn something more, you can stop by my office and I can explain. Okay, participants, spectators at a large Southeastern University for men's and women's basketball and I used the face-to-face -face uh, survey method and participants were required, uh, recruited in two men's and two women's college basketball events, face-to-face. -face. And I used 12 uh, questions from the uh, co and colleagues research model and four from commitment and two from think and two from Kwan's revisit intention item based on panel of expert and pilot study. And to find out the goodness model fit and validity, I conducted all the CFA and I conducted the uh, structure equation modeling to find out the direct effect between event quality factors and revision intention. And to find out the modeling effect of commitment, I conducted multiple group structure equation model an analysis. Okay? And the results. This is demographic, demographic information. So, uh, 312 men's basketball and 282 women's basketball sample collected and the males and female and major majority of the age is adult and Caucasian is more than 50 percent and these are the uh, measurement model tests and as you can see all the model fit and Cambridge Alpha and ABE value is higher than recommended uh, value, which means this item and scales explain well. And also all this information. Okay, so, and means and standard deviation is kind of 5.2, 5 5.39 to uh, 4.8. And all the uh, correlation Below AB value is correlation. And squared correlation is lower than 0.8, which is recommended value. And here is the result of direct effect. And here, this one is men's basketball. And in the bracket is women's basketball. And this result indicated that in men's basketball and both men's and women's basketball, game performance is the most important factor. And also men's basketball is more influenced by uh, game performance. And then in women's basketball, uh, game performance, entertainment, and staff quality all significantly influenced. And in men's basketball, only game performance and staff quality, <coughs> and even staff quality is kind of relatively low which means the men's basketball fans, they came to the game to watch the game. Game performance is most important. On the other hand, women's basketball, the other game, uh, service quality factor are important. So this one will help you understand. In men's basketball, Staff quality is kind of important, but as you can see, the number is pretty low. And game performance is 0.71, which is very, very high. So we can assume that if we are very good at basketball, just game itself, men's basketball will pack 
They don't care the others. On the other hand, women's basketball, game performance, in-game entertainment, staff quality, all these service quality factors are significantly influence their representation. Why? Why? Because maybe their expectation of the uh, game performance itself is kind of low and they're looking for more something fun experience or better uh, better treat by uh, staff. And why this physical surrounding, like a st stadium, is not very significantly influenced? I'm going to explain that later in the discussion section. And now let's talk about the, uh, the monitoring effect of commitment. And before we do a monitoring effect, monitoring effect of commitment, we need to do a we need to conduct the measurement invariance test. And the main purpose of this measurement invariance test is we need to find out whether we can compare two group or not. And again, this is not the statistics class, so I'm going to skip that. I can see your face. What the, right? So I understand that. Anyway, fortunately, both men's and women's basketball pass that measurement, measurement invariance test, which means we can compare in both group. Okay, so upper one is highly committed fan and lower one is general spectator in men's basketball. What do you see? In highly committed fan, surprisingly, pretty low number of they pretty less influenced by uh, game performance. Why? Maybe they don't care. They don't care win or lose. They keep go to the game. On the other hand, general spectator, they are not a fan, then which means pretty high number, which means if the game is not good, they will not go to the game. Makes sense. Men's basketball. And also staff. Highly committed fan, inf significantly influ influenced by uh, staff quality, but the number is relatively low. But the general spectator, they more influenced in the service. Okay, let's see uh, the women's basketball. Only a uh, committed fan, they only influenced by a uh, game performance. But the general spectators, except the game performance, they influenced by entertainment, staff quality, and uh, physical surrounding, facility design. And what can, you, what can we see? Highly committed women's basketball, they don't care. They go to the, watch the game. But the other general spectator, they kind of less care, or they don't care the game, but the other service. <coughs> okay. This model can help you to understand better. So, in men's basketball, they don't care the in-game entertainment and facility design. And they only care game performance and staff quality, but the general spectator more influenced by game performance. 0.7 is very high number. And also staff quality, but uh, as you can see, general spectator are more influenced by uh, the service quality than highly committed fan. And in women's basketball, women's sports case, highly committed fan, they only care the game performance. They don't care the others. But general spectator, they don't care game performance, but the other service vectors. Let's make sense, right? Okay, let's find out why. Game performance is most important event quality factor in both men's and women's basketball or college uh, sporting events. And this one is consistent with pre research. Core service. If you go to the restaurant, even they are very, the restaurant is very clean and 
doable price and the uh, servers are very nice, but the food itself is very bad. <coughs> Will you go again? Of course not, right? So game performance, it's very, very important. And also, in game entertainment, only women's basketball positively and directly influence. Why? When people go to the men's basketball, they go to watch the game. But the women's basketball, they kind of having fun. They're trying to find the place like a cheap, safe, and not crowded, but fun, right? Enjoying their time in relatively less crowded event. That's why entertainment is kind of very important to women's basketball. And also, staff quality positively directly influences spectator revision intention in both men's and women's, but uh, the coefficient is kind of low because uh, they know college event. How many concessions in our Martin's no, no, or basketball? Beasley. How many concessions? One or two or no concession, right? So last chance to meet the uh, staff. That's why, uh, and even we know where it is, and we know how to find the seats. Not very complex. That's why the number is kind of very low. Then why? Physical surrounding. Physical surrounding is one of the most important in service quality factor in entire industry, then why? Physical surrounding is not significant. I think this one also related with college environment. Martin Stadium, busily earned, busily stadium. We know where it is. We've been there with a concert or career fair or graduation, <coughs> we all know what that is, how it looks like and how big it is and everything. And we don't have any expectation about the college facility. Maybe that's why they really don't care. What if you go to a, a Seahawks game or Mariners game <coughs> you spend like a couple hundred dollars or at least hundred dollars. You have probably have some kind of expectation about the facility, right? Then in that case, physical surrounding, I'm sure that is very important, but college, maybe not. And men's bas basketball <coughs> event, <coughs> general spectator, more affected by both game performance and step quality because less committed or less uh, loyal customer more influenced by uh, service quality. They care their service. It makes sense, right? And also, women's basketball highly committed fans are significantly influenced by only uh, game performance and highly committed fans visit the event to watch and cheer for their favorite team. And highly committed fans, they don't care other event. So, and also general spectator, of course, more influenced by uh, in-game uh, entertainment and stiff quality and physical surrounding in women's sports. Why? Because they're not attend to watch the game. They just trying to find the good time. And also highly committed fan or business sport event to watch and cheer their favorite team, they really don't care the event. I mean, I mean, service quality. So there are some uh, implications. There kind of implication is uh, event research researcher by improving the role of specific event quality dimension. So, and also, Practical implication, to attract spectator in college men's and women's basketball, we know what kind of service quality factor are important. And uh, a spectator in co college women's basketball event, manager need to more focus on in-game entertainment. 
And uh, again, to attract more people in the game to make more money, we need to find what is the best way, right? And in the, in the back to uh, the first part, just highly high quality of the service quality is not good enough. We need to find who is our target market and what they want and needs. We need to specify based on this research. And there is a, some limitation in future suggestion is, of course, is only uh, one institution in higher education. <laughs> yes, if he's in my class, of course. And I, we, I only use the four specific aspects <coughs> of event quality. And if I apply more service quality factors, that would be more interesting and study only uh, game attendance as indicator of behavior intention and if we have apply like a word of mouth or something else then could be a better chance and next future research if we compare major league minor league or NBA uh, D league or WNBA could be interesting <coughs> results. 